and welcome to the VCATS channel. My name is Maria Valeskatsis. So today's video is all about how to choose the correct foundation. Um, I think it's one of those things that women all over the world have a problem with because you know when you go into a store the lighting's different or your skin color changes and it's just a whole lot of drama so today we're going to break it down and i'm going to help you choose the correct foundation for your skin and the color so the first thing we're going to talk about before we even move into matching of foundation colors is the types of foundation because it's very important to understand and to know which foundation works best for your skin so the first type of foundation that you would find and everyone knows about it is your liquid foundation and liquid foundation is great because it can be used on dry skin combina combination skin or even oily skin and it's very easy to put on you can use a sponge a brush a beauty blender and it is fantastic um, liquid foundation depends on the the thickness of the foundation sometimes have a has a very light coverage so i generally only use it like when i'm on holidays and i just want a light sheer foundation um the second foundation that we're going to talk about is your cream foundation and that is a combination um, of foundation and powder this works extremely well when you want to cover because you can layer this foundation on and you can literally literally look flawless using this foundation um it is quite oily so it is more for people that have dry skin or combination skin um the next foundation we can talk about is your stick foundation um the stick foundation is great um it ha it blends easily it's used on oily skin strangely enough um especially to hide blemishes um and when you go to a dermatologist a lot of the foundations that they will uh, recommend come in a stick form um and your last uh, foundation type is your powder foundation and this is more powdery then creamy uh, very light coverage and is great for people with oily skin um, personally I don't use it on myself um, as a makeup artist I generally use it on my male clients that don't really need that much coverage um, so that's your four types of foundations okay now you need to understand your skin type so I'm not going to go into skin types today and I'm going to leave that for our beauty season where I will teach you all about skin types and skin conditions uh, but for today and testing our foundations uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is undertones yes we're going to go there so I know it's very scary and you're going to think, oh my God, how am I going to understand undertones? I'm not a makeup artist or I don't know the first thing about undertones. So it's very simple. So if you look at your hand here, okay, if your veins are greenish, okay, look very carefully. If it's greenish, then your undertone is more towards warm shades. If you are dark blue or purple, then you lean more towards cooler shades and if you have a combination of both of these then you are you have a more peachy undertone and you'll find that fairer skin people do have a combination so they are more peachy as an image consultant another easy way that i test um, skin tone is we generally drape two types of fabrics we drape gold fabric and silver or gray fabric and if you are if your skin looks lighter and you look more vibrant with gold then you have a warmer undertone and if vice versa if the silver works for you then you have a blue undertone so that's simple easy how to understand your skin tone so once you've understood your skin tone you now need to go into the store and find foundation that is suitable for your skin tone so it must have warm shades or cool shades the next thing you do is you find three shades just by looking at it three shades that are closest to your skin color and what you have to do is you swatch those colors so you literally take one color and you create a stripe the second color 
a stripe and the third color a stripe. It is very important when you do this to understand that the color that is most invisible on your skin is the color for you. So what are some of the mistakes people do when they go to test foundation? The first mistake is to test foundation here. So if you look at your skin here, and if you look at your skin there, it's completely different colors. And you're not the only one. I've been to retail outlets and I've seen consultants take your hand and put it on, you know, the foundation on the, the wrist area. So no, do not test on the wrist area. The jawline is where you have to test. The second fault that, and it's, you know what, before I became a makeup artist and before I understood undertone skin colors and lighting I did this you walk into a store there's yellow light or there's white light it is impossible to find the correct shade so what happens is you put the foundation on it looks amazing because let me tell you yellow light can make anything look amazing you walk outside and it is completely the wrong color so when testing foundation it is imperative that you do it in natural light. I think it's a bit difficult, you know, when you are in a store and you're trying to find natural light because there's all these different types of lights that, that are shining on you. So when you are at an outlet and you're looking to buy a foundation, my suggestion is that you rather say to the consultant, apply the foundation, let me go out, I'll come back next week or tomorrow, and if it's the right shade, I will purchase. See? Not so. All right, so that is how to find the perfect foundation shade for you and me.